the wait is over. If you have been watching my channel for a little while, then you know exactly what you are about to get yourself into. This is the semi-annual swatch video where I review usually about a hundred different swatches from Style Maker Fabrics. These are all the fabrics that they have just brought in for their fall winter collection. We are going to be taking a look at every single one of them looking at stretch and drape and recovery and colors and coordinating fabrics. And it's really just the best video about fabric that there ever was. Am I right? <laughs> if you are new here, you are in for a real treat. Okay, we are gonna get over to the swatches here really shortly, but I do have to ask something of you guys. Please like this video, subscribe, click the notification bell. And as we go through, make sure to let me know which ones you you are loving. If you're keeping a list, what we've done in the past, if people have written down a wish list, they've told me how many items um, are on their wish list. Normally it's double digits. I'm not, I'm not lying. There's going to be some long lists out there, but let me know how many um, items you wrote down, what your favorites are, some themes you're seeing, any kind of thoughts and comments that come to mind, leave them in the comment section below. But okay, enough talking. Let's go check out the swatches. Yay, here we go. This is our stack. It looks like we have 94, <laughs> 94 fabrics to look at and drool over. Um, so let's get into it. Already off to a great start. I love this one. This is a brushstroke slub rayon blend in terracotta. It's actually a blend of rayon and nylon and it comes in two different colorways. Um, like I said, this is the terracotta uh, colorway. 16336 is the item number. And I wish I could explain to you how this feels. So it definitely has that slub texture that's in the description. It kind of has uh, almost like, almost like a linen texture, but it's a lot more silky and smooth because of the rayon and nylon blended in. Um, it's not nearly as drapey as like 100% rayon would be, obviously, because it has that nylon in it. It really does have some really beautiful, like, you know, light structure to it. Really, really, really pretty. I can see this as a jumpsuit. Let's check the opacity. Opacity? Opaqueness? Whatever. Of the, of the white parts. I mean, it's definitely, um, you can see the light through it, but I don't feel like it's too, too showy. Um, so you could obviously use this, I mean, make a stunning midi length shirt dress or a jumpsuit of some kind, or even just like a, any kind of like drapey top. It does have that little bit of weight to it though, which makes it ideal for like a fall lightweight. You know, it doesn't feel too thin or too lightweight. It does have a little bit of something, something to it. Love that love that so much. All right, we're going to we're going to um leave this to the side so that we can match it up with some different like bottom weights or jackets and things like that as we go along. So the next one is a designer Tencel jersey knit. So Tencel is a like brand name of rayon. So if you think about like bandages and then you think about band-aids, <laughs> Tencel is the band-aid of the rayon world. So this one is a Tencel spandex blend. It comes in 10 different colors. 16184 is the item number. And you guys, this is nice. I mean, I, okay, so full disclosure, I love a um, jersey knit that has a little bit of cotton in it because it just feels a little bit um, more like... I don't know, substantial to me. And if I, if I want to make like a nice t-shirt, I don't want it to be too clingy and thin. This though feels like a bit of a, I don't know if I want to call it like a mid-weight rayon jersey, but that's kind of what it feels like. You can tell that it's still super, super drapey. Of course, it has super soft hand feel. I mean, it just feels like water, like over your hands. Um, you can just tell how fluid it is, but it doesn't feel super thin, like some 
uh, rayon jerseys can feel. So um, this one's really, really nice. We're gonna check out the stretch and recovery. So you can see it bounces right back, which I think um, rayon jerseys are pretty well known for that. And then this is the stretch on the other way. Super nice, super drapey. And like I said, it comes in 10 different colors. So obviously we're gonna be able to mix and match a bunch. This is not like a perfect match, but it kind of like is a wink and a nod. So it depends on how matchy matchy you like to be. This is a little bit more pink than any of these. These are more like peachy colors. Um, but yeah, a great little Jersey knit staple for sure. All right, now we have a square plaid wool gauze shirting in the terracotta colorway. Um, this is a blend of wool and lurex. Lurex is what is giving you all that metallic threading through here. And then the rest is wool. It comes in two different colorways. Um, and it's a gauze shirting. So it's the gauze weave made out of wool. All right. So if you're used to a cotton gauze, this one's going to be a little bit different. It's going to have that, you know, not scratchy wool, but it definitely has like a feeling to it. It definitely has like a bit of a rougher um, hand feel. Uh, it's a little bit looser woven. That is the gauze coming into play here where you can kind of see through it. That is the, the loose weave of gauze. But with the wool, I got to imagine that even though it's a loose weave, the wool is kind of insulating. So it's kind of like a good middle of the road like wool fabric, you know what I mean? Because down here in, uh, in North Carolina, I don't know that I would wear wool very often, maybe a month, a few weeks, six weeks out of the year. Um, but having something loose or weave like this could definitely introduce wool into my wardrobe in a way that is wearable in, in the climate that I'm in because, you know, it's going to be a little bit more breathable. Um, so I imagine this obviously um, as a shirt. I mean, like I said, it definitely has the texture to it, but it's not itchy. Even with the Lurex, even with the metallic threads, it's not itchy. It just is rough, you know, um, but it still feels okay on the skin. I don't think it would be uncomfortable, but um, you could obviously make like a really cool, like um, almost like a long line, like a cardigan, even though it's not stretchy, you know, like or a crop jacket would be really cute. Um, obviously if it's lined, you wouldn't have to worry about the feel of this too much. So that's a really fun um, fabric for sure. Something unique and different that you don't see all the time. Wool, gauze, shirting. And these look really good together. It's these threads through here that are kind of matching up. But obviously we have this teal. And so when we get into the blue section, I'm sure that's gonna match up with something. Um, maybe even one of these jersey knits. Okay, next we have, oh, this feels so good. Luxury sw uh, soft sweater knit in heather, wait, luxury soft sweater knit heather raisin. Okay, so this comes in nine different colors. It's a rayon cotton modal spandex. So modal, similar to Tencel, is a brand name of rayon. So it has like the Gener generic rayon and also the modal woven in with cotton and spandex. Okay, so it's a soft sweater knit. It's heathered, which means the color isn't even throughout. And this is the colorway raisin. It has nine colors available. This is a style maker fabrics staple, meaning they're going to be able to reorder it, right? So if they sell out of it, they'll be able to get more in. So it's one of those things. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe how good this feels. All right, so we don't have a ton of stretch. I mean, maybe, well, that one, there's a lot of stretch this way, maybe 100% or more, but the other way, not so much. But this feels so rich. I mean, she calls it luxury, and that is exactly what it is. It feels like if you walked into like, United Colors of Benetton or something. I don't know. It feels like, you know, you're at Nordstrom and you're looking at the, you know, $200 sweaters. This is what you were going to find. This would make an amazing turtleneck. Um, of course, any kind of sweater that you have, it would make a glorious cardigan. Um, it would make just really, I mean, even that jumpsuit that I just made, McCall's 8218, um, this would be a really great option for that as well. I hope we come across some more of the colors because this is just so, so, so nice. And if we go back to our first fabric, this is actually a really good match. So again, it's not 
dead on. This is more of a chocolate. This is more of like a reddish brown. But if you're not into matchy matchy, um, these look really good. So this would make a great shirt dress. And you can throw a little cardigan over it. Um, but this is, you know, it, this is this is something else. This is really, really nice. 16704 is the item number on this. It's a little bit brushed on the wrong side, which feels really good against the skin. It's got drape, but it's also got structure. You can see it's not totally falling in on itself. And considering it has rayon and modal in it, um, that's really impressive. The cotton that's blended in and the spandex are really what's helping give it that little bit of oomph. Yeah, this, this is really, really, really nice. Those complement each other well as well from this little dark area here. So, so, so good. Love that one. Okay, this is fun. This is Floral Branches Jersey Knit and Blush. How pretty. So it's kind of like a realistic type of print. It's definitely printed on um, a white Jersey Knit. This is cotton spandex and it comes in two different colorways. This one is the blush colorway. Item number 16562 and has this like beigey but a little bit nod toward pink uh, background and then this really pretty pink flower with the orange accents and then also all of these like really rich almost like navy um, shadows with the like maroon leaves. Um, so you can get an idea for those two things there. Obviously not a perfect match again. This one's a little bit more red than this one is. And then if you pair it with the pink, again, just kind of like speaking to the monochromatic. And then I don't know what you would make where these two would go together. Um, but yeah, cotton jersey. Yep, cotton jersey knit. So it's not going to be super, super stretchy and like rayon will be. I'm guessing maybe like 30% stretch. Oh, I actually have a ruler here. So this is six inches, stretches to about eight. So maybe 20% stretch along the cross grain um but the thing about cotton jerseys is that they are really stable so you can see how the there's not a lot of drape there so it's not gonna be very clingy it's gonna kind of hang away from the body just a little bit so great t-shirt great t-shirt dress um anything with those like you know statement sleeves that everyone's um using these days that would be perfect for okay this is uh autumn check plaid crinkle shirting in the colorway wine this is 100 percent cotton and it only comes in this color so we've got the really pretty wine but we've also got this pumpkin orange kind of like a citron color going this way and then like a charcoal and a like beige or off-white um it is crinkle shirting but it's not super crinkly you know, I don't really see that much of a crinkle at all. It's more of just like the looser weave of it that is really interesting to me. Um, almost maybe sort of like, well, I don't really know how that's, it's kind of like a twill weave, but not. You can see how they have the diagonal um, weave going through some of the squares, but not all of them. So, or maybe they are there, but I just can't see them because they're all cream. I don't know, but it's really nice because both sides, because it's not printed on, you know, this is actually, all these colors are woven in like this. So that makes it really nice. Um, obviously no stretch to it because it's a shirting, 100% cotton. And you're just really like, you know, going for the, going for the plaid, plaid shirt, shirt dress, anything. I mean, you can make anything plaid. Um, this would be a good lining if you need um, for a coat, but you don't want to use a wool. Um, and I was just checking these colorways. That's a little bit off. But really cool, really um, like modern take on by on plaid. 16086. All right, next up we have soft variegated sweater knit in wine. Two colorways are available. This is made of polyester, rayon, and spandex. So this is your classic, classic sweater knit. Whereas this one is a little bit more tightly woven. I mean, it's definitely a sweater knit, but not, I don't know, just more tightly woven than this one is. Um, this one you can kind of see through just a little bit, but it feels so soft. I mean, 
polyester, you know, kind of gets a bad rap, but it certainly does make something feel really soft. And addition of the rayon as well, even spandex is going to make it feel a little bit silky. Um, but it is drapey, but still has a little bit of structure to it, just enough um, to hold up like a cowl neck or a turtleneck or a puffy sleeve if you wanted to go that route. Um, it would make a great cardigan, great layering piece. And of course, this colorway is so pretty. They're calling it wine. So it's a little bit more pink than this. And this was called wine as well. And they certainly go together. But again, this one's a little bit more pink than this is more purple. But um, if you're not matchy matchy and you're more of like a wink and a nod, <laughs> um, then those work well together really nice on that one all right this is called autumn plaid thick wool flannel in wine so this is your 100% wool this is the only colorway of this I love this kind of collegiate classic colorway with the mustard and the olive green and the blues I mean this is the the sort of collegiate trend has been bouncing around for the past few seasons a uh, few fall and winter seasons. Um, it's still here and this would make an exceptional little like, think of like a cropped moto jacket or something out of this. That would be so nice. You could obviously make wool pants if like trousers, if um, you're in a climate that can support wool pants. I think I would probably die of heat exhaustion, but um, I would for sure make a little crop jacket out of this without a doubt. Um, really, really great. I love, love, love the colorway of this so much. It's a little bit like this, but you can see how this just has that varsity vibe to it, you know? Um, the wool is not uh, as textured as this one was. This one also has a lighter weave to it, so that enhances the texture some, but this is actually kind of feels nice. It doesn't, I mean, it's not scratchy. It's certainly not smooth, but for a wool, like relatively speaking, it feels really good. I actually really like this. 16505. I mean, it would make a classic little coat that you would wear for years and years and years, right? So good. So good. I love that one. All right. Next we have, ooh, this is fun. Snuggly Teddy Bear Knit in Wine. And that's literally what it looks like. If you had a teddy bear and you ripped it open and cut out a square, this is what you would find. Um, kind of also reminiscent of a bath mat, if, <laughs> if I'm being honest. But it feels a lot softer. This is 100% polyester. It comes in two different colorways. One, six, four, nine, one uh, is the item number on this. And it has that wine color. So obviously with this, you're making like a textured sweater. You're making a cardigan. Um, something along those lines. Of course, you could also make crafts with it as well. I've seen a lot of really cute little like clutch bags made from texture fabric like this. That could be a lot of fun. Um, if you were gonna pair it with something and you wanted it to be matchy-matchy, this darker version of this colorway looks really good with this. And then you can maybe pair it with this jersey. Mm, I don't know about that. Still a little bit more brown. Um, but this is fun, unique, different. Yeah, people would never guess that you made it. That's for sure. Cool. I love the unique, different fabrics that you don't see very often. All right, this one is organic mammoth flannel, large check in rust. This is made from organic cotton and it comes in four colorways. This colorway is the teal and orange, very classic, <laughs> very fall. Um, and the mammoth flannel just... I mean, it feels like flannel. It's super soft, really dense um, kind of flannel. Um, obviously no stretch to it, but right side, wrong side. I actually really like the wrong side too. I like how these are blending together. You see how this is like a little bit more brushed, whereas on this side, they kind of aren't. And so, I don't know, it stands out a little bit more. I kind of really like the wrong side. 16654 on this. Yeah flannel shirting, lining of a coat, um, flannel pajamas, but this I think is going to be like warm. Like this is very thick, um, very dense for sure. 
Okay, look how pretty this one is. This is Brush Stroke Floral Rayon in Rust and Olive, 100% rayon. Uh, two different colorways. Very, very vibrant. This orange is like orange, but it's like the tone of it, it's not like construction orange or pumpkin orange. It's bright, but it's got like some depth to it, you know? And then we also have all these really pretty greens, and this is more of like a black accent in there as well, and a little bit of yellow. Um, so 100% rayon. She doesn't say whether this is poplin or I don't think it's shally. I think it's more of like a poplin weave or something with a little bit tighter weave than shally. <clears throat> um, but it is uh, for a rayon, not as soft and drapey as you might imagine. It is um, got it's got a lot of like, I don't know, a little bit of structure to it. You can see that there how it's not super, super drapey at all. So that's kind of nice. So this would make a really great fall dress if you want to do like a long sleeve dress, something with the cuff, something with like a dramatic sleeve, all of that would be really good. Really good and really pretty and very vibrant, especially for those of us that have like a darker skin tone. I mean, come on. But I do think it would look good on lots and lots and lots of skin tones too. But especially good on <laughs> darker skin tones. Okay, this one is dis uh, Designer Scuba Suede solid rust <clears throat> it is a polyester spandex blend and it comes in seven different colorways so imagine if scuba knit uh ponty knit that kind of um foam type of fabric had a baby with suede okay that that would be this so this side of it is very reminiscent of scuba <clears throat> right this got the kind of smooth um, nylon-y, polyester -y kind of hand feel, but this side looks just like suede. <laughs> I mean, it looks just like suede. You could definitely fool anybody into thinking that this was um, suede, but or even a faux suede, but it's actually a scuba. So, does it have any stretch? No, not really. Well, on this way, okay, so on the straight grain, it does. If I remember correctly, they put the stickers <clears throat> along the cross grain. So along the straight grain, it has some give there. Obviously you could cut it, you know, whichever way you wanted if you needed to have a little bit of stretch because um, really popular right now are faux suede, faux leather, like shorts and little mini skirts, um, kind of, you know, a hint and a nod back to that, um, varsity vibe you know if we were going to put something like this together there's no orange in this but the tones of them are the same so they kind of like feed off of each other a little bit um and can you imagine like a super cute like little mini skirt um or even like a circle skirt scuba works wonders in um, a circle skirt shape because it just drapes so nicely um it does stand away from the body but you can imagine that cut into a little circle <clears throat> and how beautiful that would be you also do not have to worry about the edges ever fraying so you don't have to worry about hemming it which is really nice but that kind of goes for all suede's so this one's really fun two no seven different colorways on this so if you're looking at doing something suede like suede looking i would highly recommend looking into this one for sure for sure. I mean, this is a little bit on the nose, but to give you an idea of the color of this rayon for sure. This next one is super pretty. This is watercolor floral jersey knit in terracotta. So cotton spandex again. Um, this is the only colorway. I want to say this is very similar to this one, just a different print, um, but it is printed on 16568 on this one beautiful beautiful blend of colors here i love this pumpkin orange with this like pinky type of color that's very unique very very pretty the accent the dark accent color is more of a navy um but this would make just a really beautiful like knit a jersey knit dress or i mean of course you could make t-shirts out of any jersey knits but i particularly see this one in like a skater type of dress with like a long sleeve I don't know this print is just so pretty I love how it's large scale too how the print is so large scale um really really nice I like this one a lot more than I like this one but I like them both but I don't know maybe it's because this one feels a little bit more like a pencil drawing whereas this one feels more like brush strokes 
Maybe that's why? I don't know. Um, but really, really, really pretty. Yeah, that, that those definitely go together. If you like a lot of color, um, these go together really well. And then here it is with your suede. Again, a little bit on the nose and kind of a lot of orange. But again, if you're into a lot of color, the monochromatic color thing is still, you know, very hot. So um, really nice. Same stretch quality as the other cotton jersey we saw. So really nice. I love this one. I love that one. Kind of a basic with a twist, which is totally my vibe. Okay, so this one's called Soft Stretch Micro Whale Corduroy in the colorway Spice. Cotton spandex, so stretch corduroy, okay? That's what we're dealing with. Six colors, style maker fabric staple, meaning they can reorder it. Um, and it does have a little bit of stretch. I mean, we're not talking like, you know, rayon spandex or anything like that, but it does have a little bit of stretch to it, making it ideal for bottoms. Um, or waistbands, you know, um, anything where like when you sit down, you need a little bit of give, the uh, stretch quality of this is perfect for that. You can also see it just kind of bounces right back to where it came from. Um, so this is really great for skorts and shorts and pencil pants and pencil skirts and anything like that. Obviously be really great for like a fitted jacket as well. I mean, a corduroy blazer, come on. And the stretch of it would be really nice um, around your shoulders so that you know you can move and be a little bit comfortable through the arms and all of that um the stretch would really come into play for that super cute um like fitted bodice button down um dress you know if you made it like a fitted dress i'm seeing like bust starts and waist starts and maybe like a fitted skirt um you could do a million things with a stretch corduroy the micro whale just refers to how wide the little you know how corduroy has the ribs in it just how wide how how wide each one of those are and this is the color spice six colors available spice is a classic fall color you can see it kind of nods to this like little bit of a color in here how cute would those two things be together right but it also looks good with this color that we have going through here also really nice and then if you're more of like a contrast person um, you know, you could do a yellow orange, you could do a pink that look how pretty that is. I mean, again, a lot of color, but they're kind of like a live within the same family. This one, not so much. Um, but if you wanted to do different, like unique color, uh, matches, this pink and spice colors look really, really cute together. Okay. Next up we have Japanese, wait, is this right one? Japanese block print floral canvas in taupe and rust. That's definitely not this. This is cotton mosel jersey knit in cinnamon. So we might be missing one. Yeah, I think we're missing the Japanese block print. I'm sorry about that. Is it attached? Nope. Um, so you'll have to go check that out on your own. 16592 is the item number on that. But like I said, this is the cotton modal jersey knit in cinnamon. This is cotton modal spandex, 19 different colorways, style maker fabric staple. This is the fabric that I used all summer long for all my t-shirts. I made a white version. I made that like purple orchid color version. This is the same. Um, they just added some fall colors. So they added the cinnamon color, which is truly beautiful. Um, and the, for those of you that have um, darker skin tones, doing a color that matches your skin tone is so on trend. It kind of adds to the strikingness of a monochromatic look, but you can see how well those two look together. You could see how these would go together. Again, not perfect match, but a wink and a nod. Um, to further kind of drill home the monochromatic look, you can put a whole outfit together with this, with a skirt and a shirt, a t-shirt and a jacket, so cute. So you guys kind of get the vibe, right? You wanna do a skirt out of this, like a rayon, pretty drapey, I don't know if it's like a ruffle tier skirt or something like that with a little t-shirt, so cute, so cute together. So, all right, that's that. 
uh, 19 different colors in that. And I absolutely love, 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 love this fabric. I have raved about it a bunch in those two um, pattern review videos. If you haven't heard me talk about it yet, this is absolutely my favorite, favorite t-shirt um, fabric I've ever found. Okay, animal print, tin cell twill shirting and cinnamon. So this is 100% tin cell, again, like the Band-Aid <laughs> rayons. And um, you'll never think of it any differently, right? This is the cinnamon colorway, but it also has these black spots that kind of give like an animal print vibe to it. So Tencel Twill, Twill Weave is what jeans are made from. It has that diagonal weave. So it's very tightly woven, which is what gives it all of its body. So it you can tell that it kind of, you know, is not totally falling in on itself. It has a little bit of structure and that's all due to the Twill Weave. The rayon makes it really, really soft, really, really lightweight. So this again, just similar to this one, even though this isn't Twill, this is definitely lighter weight than this one is, but the same sort of garments um, would be ideal. So we've got, you know, anything from like a long sleeve, you know, button down flowy dress to, um, you know, skirts, oops, sorry, skirts with tears and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. That's what you would be making either one of these things out of. This would also be suitable for like a jumpsuit, uh, more so than this, because this is going to cling a little bit and, and kind of come into your body some, whereas this is going to stand away a little bit. So if you wanted to do like a wide leg pant, um, this would definitely hold up the wide legs for sure really, really nice. And again, you can kind of go tone on tone with it and just have a lot of fun um, with the monochromaticness of it all. Right? Again, not perfect matches, either one of these, but I kind of like how there's a, a little bit of variety. So you can tell where one garment stops and the other one starts. All right, those are good. Now we have Fall Leaves Jacquard Tencel Shirting. Okay, another really unique uh, fabric that I have, I don't know if I've ever seen, uh, comes in two colorways, it's 100% tinsel, and jacquard is the type of weave where it's like opposites. Does that make sense? Where um, the way that it's woven produces one look on one side of the fabric and then the opposite of that on the other side. So over here, the leaves are dark, but on here, the leaves are light. I typically prefer the wrong side of jacquard fabrics but that's totally me this one definitely has like a little bit more texture to it very very subtle whereas this one's a little bit more smoother um I don't know I just that's how I am that's how I roll with <laughs> with uh jacquards but this one is a tensile shirting with that kind of jacquard texture to it um so it's gonna be pretty yeah pretty not very drapey but on the lighter weight of, or I guess the heavier weight of rayons, but the lighter weight of shirtings, if that makes sense. So this again has such beautiful, beautiful structure to it that it would make a really pretty, um, I'm actually in like a, a duster jacket. Um, I think that would just flow and just hang from the shoulders really beautifully. Um, I'm also picturing, I mean, yes, you could do like your, lightweight floaty type of dress with the long sleeve and all of that kind of stuff but um it would be heavier weight for that compared to some of the other options that we've seen today but jacquard is just so nice for a coating um i would really really love to see someone make this in a in a um like a duster type of jacket 16518 is the item number on that. If I've been forgetting the item numbers, I do that. <laughs> I know myself, but I have a link in the description box that will take you to this spreadsheet that I'm reviewing where you can find, like I'm calling out the names and you can find the names that you're looking for easily there. All right, so that's that. Pretty chocolate brown color. And next up, we are moving into the mustard category. This one is poly rayon spandex. It's called fall camouflage print. Okay, fall camouflage print, double knit in mustard and rust. So you got the classic camo print, right? This is a double knit, meaning there are like two, sometimes you can see, there's like two layers of knits that are 
woven together. So you've got the camo side and then you've got this like, I don't know, it's some kind of like beige, very, very thin layer that's also kind of attached to it in a way. I don't know how to explain double knit, but um, the colorways are mustard and rust, but we also have this pretty like blue color and this chocolate brown color. It is a double knit, so it does have some stretch to it, but not a ton, not a ton. So if you're looking for like a structured knit, almost similar to like a Ponte, but much lighter weight and much stretchier, um, you could use this for like pencil skirts. Um, you could use this for like knit jackets and things of that nature no pun intended, with the camo, am I right? And then of course, you know, it goes really well with all these, but I wanna find a blue that it looks really pretty with, so I'll set that aside. This is the Shadow Check Linen Blend Gauze. Linen rayon blend, it comes in eight different colors, and this is so cool. I recently saw this made um, into a top, I believe, on Style Maker's uh Instagram and it genuinely looked like art like it looked like the woman was wearing art it was the coolest um so it does have this shadow tech uh shadow check texture to it you can kind of see some of how that's you know bumping and folding and causing it to have its like own little party over here um right side and wrong side so this would make a really, really exceptional like statement jacket. You know, imagine something kind of, not necessarily oversized in the shoulders, but big billowing sleeves or like a really, you know, dramatic um, hem or like A-line or something like that going on with it. It would make really, really pretty like um, if you did a skirt and it had like the the asymmetrical hem or the handkerchief hem because all of those folds would kind of come in on each other but also stand away. Um, like I said, it literally looks like art. If you uh, go to their Instagram, Stylemaker Fabrics, at Stylemaker Fabrics on Instagram, you'll be able to see kind of what this looks like made up. But it comes in eight different colorways. This is avocado. So, so, so cool. And for what it's worth, if you're thinking about wearing the camo with the I mean, it's kind of a lot going on, but you, you definitely could do that. Um, but this stuff is really, really cool. Lots of pretty colors. They had some of this over the summer too. So there's some more summery colors if you're into that. All right, so Art Gallery just recently came out with a flannel and this is one of those. So pretty, right? Like if you're into the rifle paper situation, if you're into Art Gallery's bright, vibrant colors, you're gonna love this. This is 100% cotton. It's called Floron. Haven floral cozy flannel in coral and turmeric. There's lots of colors here. So we've got the kind of the floron haven. I think the floron part of it is how all of this is like highlighter. So highlighter pink, highlighter orange, but then it's blended with creams and sky blues. And this background color is really nice. It's like a deep blue green, not quite teal, more navy than teal. Uh, but really pretty flannel. So you can make a flannel dress, a flannel shirt. You could use this to line a jacket with or something like that. So that's what the flannel is all about. You can tell the wrong side is, you know, obviously this is printed on. Um, not like this flannel, the mammoth, the organic mammoth flannel, which is kind of all woven in. Um, but they are similar weights and they feel about the same. This one might be a little bit more felty than the other one, but there you have it, 16609 on that. I mean, those look exceptional together. If you were thinking of a flannel and a gauze outfit, <laughs> here you go. All right, here is the plush sweater knit solid in turmeric. So this is an acrylic polyester blend, okay? So like, unlike this one, that was soft variegated. This was poly rayon spandex, right? One six four one four. Yeah, this is poly rayon spandex. This one is acrylic and poly, and you can totally tell the difference if you're touching both of them. So this one actually has a lot more fluidity to it. Can you see the difference in how this is smaller? <clears throat> this this circumference here is smaller than this one is. So this one has more structure, less drape. You can also tell a difference in the way they feel. I mean, the acrylic is definitely still soft, but not soft like 
rayon is. You know what I mean? So same but different. Um, this one also is a little bit more sheer. And here is the stretch quality on it. So not a ton. So it's going to be um, like a sweater or a dress or something that's a little bit oversized. Um, you would need to use on something like this. Whereas this is a little bit more stretchy, so you can make that turtleneck, you can make that cowl neck with it. Um, this one is got a little bit less stretch and also stands away from the body some, so you just have to be a little bit careful with the patterns that you choose on this one. But looks really pretty with that, right? With our camo. And if you wanted to go like yellow and brown, that's really pretty. And remember this thing had some yellow in it too. So look how pretty those are. If you did like an oversized sweater, oversized crop sweater with like a French tuck into like a floaty, um, like a floaty midi skirt, you know, that whole vibe. Um, even the skirt that, was it McCall's that just released it? Where it's like all the pleats, it's a little bit basic and the model has that big chunky belt on something along those lines. Okay, now we have abstract tie-dye French terry in the rust mustard colorway. So this is a cotton, oh, I'm sorry, the um, this uh, acrylic sweater knit comes in three different colors too. Okay, so back to the tie-dye French terry. So clearly tie-dye, we all know what that is. This has the navies and the oranges and the greens. Uh, they call it abstract tie-dye, but it is your French terry. And what also is really nice about this one that's kind of unique is that the dye actually has been dyed through the entire French terry, which is a little bit rare. Um, even the one that I used on my jumpsuit, I actually have some left over here. You can tell that one side is the, is the rose color, but the other side has the white still. Whereas this one is totally see the the dye is all the way through it so that's kind of interesting and different and because of that I feel like you could make like I don't know like a button front cardigan or you could make something where the wrong side of the fabric would show like or if you did like um if you did like uh French cherry shorts but you rolled up the cuff you know and the wrong side of that would show same thing with like a sleeve that could actually be really cool so 16431, lighter weight French terry, cotton polyester, and this fun abstract tie-dye color with, you know, all your favorite oranges and blues and fall colors. Fun. All right, now we have soft bamboo, wait, sorry, soft cotton bamboo sweatshirt fleece and mustard. This is cotton, bamboo, and spandex. It comes in 18 different colors and wait for it, matching rib, all right? So if you are wanting to make a classic sweatshirt that has the matching ribbing or a bomber jacket that has the, you know, ribbing on the bottom or any kind of like, you know, the letterman's jacket or any of that stuff that has those rib cuffs and collars and hem bands, this is your stuff, 18 colors. It is a style maker uh, staple, so they will have plenty of it, be able to reorder it, um, like I said, this is the color mustard and sweatshirt fleece. So bamboo sweatshirt fleece. So we've got the fleece on the wrong side, super, super soft, does have a little bit of like that fuzzy texture to it, but really, really smooth on the right side. Um, obviously it's not going to be super drapey because it is, you know, sweatshirt fleece after all. It's on the thicker side of sweatshirt fleece. Um, not a ton of stretch either, so you want to make sure you use something that has like a wide neck opening for you to get in and out of it. But with that rib, I would, I mean, obviously you make sweatshirts with it. You can make the matching shorts or pants with the ribbing um, for the ankles and the waistband. Um, but also look into like bomber jackets. How fun would like a mustard <laughs> bomber jacket be? You know what I mean? Even if you were going to throw it over this, or if you wanted to do like the the comfy with the dressy, you could do like a comfy sweatshirt paired with like a dressier um, uh, skirt 
or like a bomber jacket over a uh, dress. That would be super, super lovely. If you wanted to be not so literal with it, these tones obviously go really, really well together too. So fun. 18 colors plus rib knit, you guys. One, five, seven, seven, five. Okay, next is Boiled Wool Blend Coating in Turmeric. This is a rayon and wool blend, and it comes in 19 colors and is a style maker staple. I feel like we saw this last year for the fall um, swatch video, and they've kept it around, uh, meaning you guys probably really like it. <laughs> so we have Boiled Wool Blend. So it's a rayon and wool blend. So you've got your wool and you've got the rayon blended in. Now that doesn't make it like super soft or drapey. The wool is definitely there. It's definitely textured. It's definitely the roughest and um, not itchy, just rough of all the ones that we've had. If you're super sensitive to textures though, you know, certainly be leery of this. But um, it does have some rayon blended in, making it not quite, you know, like this guy. You, can you see the difference there? Um, this is actually softer. Um, and I think that has something to do with the, this being boiled wool versus like a woven wool. Um, but either way, this is still really, really cool. It makes really, really fun. Like you could do like <clears throat> a big boxy sweater. You could do obviously a cardigan you could do, or I guess you'd call it a jacket since it doesn't stretch at all. You can do a lot of really fun things, um, with this wool rayon blend fabric. One, three, nine, six, three on that. What did I say? 19 colors, 19 colors. So have fun with that. I keep pulling out this one in every single swatch video. I've done what a dozen of them now. The fabrics that I keep reaching for that match so many other fabrics are the ones that I'm always like adding to my cart. Because if I can just pull from this little selection, I know that I've got stuff in my closet to pull from too. And I have pulled this one, I mean, I pulled it in the in the raspberry category, I pulled it in the um, mustard category, I know I'm gonna pull it in the green category and the blue category. So this is one of those that kind of matches a lot of different things. Okay, next up, diamond, jacquard, tencel, shirting, and olive. This was our leaf jacquard, right? Is that what it was? Fall leaves, jacquard, tencel, shirting. And this one is diamond, jacquard, tencel, shirting. So just leaves versus diamonds. Oops. So you can see the wrong side there versus the right side. Okay, on this one, I actually do prefer the, the right side. This has a very mod look to it. I think the avocado green with the olive green is giving me strong mid-century vibes. Um, it would make just the cool, like I said about this one, like the coolest little duster or jacket or like kind of like a lightweight drapey jacket. Um, I think these would be really good for. So this comes in two different colorways. The fall leaves also came in two colorways. So you can do diamonds or leaves um, with these. <coughs> now we have designer Tencel Jersey Knit in basil. Basil is such a beautiful color. I feel like Tencel Spandex comes in 10 colors. Yeah, that was the same as this. So now we've seen two of the colorways, all right? So I'll keep this out. Same exact fabric as that blush, just in a different colorway. So I'll keep this close because I feel like we're gonna be matching a lot of things up again. Of course, those look really pretty together. It's almost like a, a hit the nail on the head in the color matching um, category. But next we have something fun, autumn stripe brushed sweater knit in sage and rust. This is a cotton acrylic blend. I feel like this is something you would see um, in a ready to wear store in a second, in a second. I love, love variegated stripes, okay? When stripes are like even and they're the same width, something about that, I don't know, I just, it doesn't sit well with me. I don't, I don't know why, but when stripes are variegated and they're different widths, I, I, it just leaps off the fabric for me. I love it so much. So, oh, look at the wrong side of this. How cool is that? 
So this is sweater knit cotton and acrylic. I just like to repeat that so that we can all take it in. But one side, obviously very brushed. The other side, not so much. Sort of the acrylic is coming out. It's got a, I don't know, medium amount of drape, you know, certainly uh, less drape than like this kind of sweater knits, you know, but uh, it's thicker and a little less stretchy but it does have stretch in both ways really 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 cool i love this i love this a lot a lot a lot um just unique you don't see a print like that very often you know what i mean or a i don't know if it's called print or what when it's woven in like that but the wrong side is just as cool as the right side and it's just so cozy and I can see myself with like a hot cup of cocoa by a fire, right? Are we like picking up those vibes now? <laughs> I love this one. 16484 on that. This is the only colorway. We've got the chocolate and the orange and the, I think maybe this mint green is really what's calling to me as well as the, the cream color that we have here. So um, where was that? the suede remember oh is that the cutest outfit you would have like a little mini skirt and then your oversized sweater and you would be ready to go and look so 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 cute I need to win the lottery even this I mean yes it's all the same colors but it's like print mixing right this is a exceptional print mixing sitch um with a skirt and your sweater you know or any kind of bottom with your sweater big palazzo pants and a sweater, you know? So, so, so cool. Love this one so much. <clears throat> All right. Classic mid whale corduroy and olive. Remember our other corduroy was a micro whale, a little bit smaller ribs than this one. And that one had stretch. This one has none. Um, this does come in 12 colorways and is a style maker staple. Okay. So this is your classic corduroy, mid whale, olive, 100% cotton, no stretch. So I don't love no stretch for anything close fitting. Um, so if you're going to make like an oversized jacket, if you're going to make um, like oversized trousers, something along those lines, this would be really good for. Okay. The color though, I guess we should talk about. Of course, it looks good with that. Looks good with this, not the same, but a little wink and a nod. What are some others? Our French Terry is kind of fun with it. And then we've just mostly had, we've had a lot of solids. A lot of solids. Mm -hmm. All right, next up, look how fun this one is. Vine Floral Rayon in Olive and Mustard. I'm getting a little bit more of a spring vibe on this, which is also really great because you know you can wear it in the next few months, put it away for a couple months when it gets too cold, and then bring it back out in the spring again. It'd be a good transitional piece to get back into it. Looks really great with this, very matchy to the background, like very matchy. Um, but also like with these yellows that we were calling out earlier, this is like more of a marigold. You know, this is the acrylic sweater knit here. That looks really pretty with it too. Um, but rayon, 100% rayon comes in two colorways, nice and drapey, maybe a poplin, maybe a um, chalet, I don't know. One, zero, not, nope. One, six, five, eight, four. Okay, I was just confirming and making sure that those numbers matched up. So that's that. You can tell it's a little bit printed on, so you wouldn't want the wrong side to show, but really, really pretty colors. Like I said, this blue, the yellow, even the greens. Um, I'm getting a, a, you know, a good transitional colorway on this. It looks really good with the yellows and the greens. Next we have soft washed bottom weight linen twill in olive. So we talked about twill weave before um, and how it's like the diagonal one, same thing jeans are made from, makes things a little bit more structured. So it does the same thing for linen. Linen can be like a bit of a looser weave. You know, linen is known for being a summer fabric because it's so breathable and lightweight. But when you do it in the twill weave, like we've done here, um, it does give you a little bit more weight to it. 
So like the red on twill that we looked at earlier, but even more structured than that. So this is like one step up from that. No stretch to it. It comes in eight colors and it's a brand new staple. So this is something that they will be continuing to carry uh, beyond this season. So you can think about things like this for winter, for spring, for next summer. Um, because it's linen, it's still breathable. It's still natural fibers, you know what I mean? So it's still going to have all those qualities in the warmer months, um, just a little bit more structure to it. So again, really great duster jacket, but also really great pants if you wanted to make like a more structured and more like beefy dress um, or skirt you could definitely do that out of this as well eight colors one six six nine nine now we have star camouflage brush sweater knit in olive and black poly rayon spandex just like the other camo was but this one has the stars with it as well has the navy, has a really cool heathered, like oatmeal color in the background, this green and olive, really, really nice. Same exact fabric as the other camo. Same stretch, all of that. Just a, a bit of a deeper, richer uh, colorway. I think that even though it's camo and that's a very like striking print, you could make a sweater out of this and people I don't know, they wouldn't necessarily be like, oh, look, she's wearing camo, <laughs> you know what I mean? Whereas the other one is so obviously camouflage. This one's a little bit more abstract. Okay, now we have the cable stripe sweater knit in olive, rayon and acrylic. They had this last year, it did really, really well. Um, they had, it comes in five different colorways. This stuff is so cool because it looks just like you weaved this yourself, which we obviously didn't. And I remember saying last year for your bands, if you just cut in between these two little channels here, you would have enough space to make like a little neck band that still matched. Um, but it does have the cable to it. Um, I've seen a lot of like cardigans out of this, like longer length cardigans, but also um, it'd be really cute as like a cropped cardigan oversized sweater, all of that kind of stuff. 15599 is the number on this. And that is a rayon acrylic blend sweater knit. So you can see the, I mean, it's just loosely woven. So it's got a lot of stretch, but not a ton. I mean, the recovery is not bad, but you know, you do this so much and eventually you will have some stretching just because the weave. All right, embroidered stripe cotton gauze in olive embroidered okay so this is i mean embroidered trend is still very much happening um a lot of people are trying to do it on their home sewing machines <clears throat> and if you don't have an embroidery machine you know never fear <laughs> um they've got it done for you so you can tell it's legitimately embroidered embroidered cotton gauze embroidered cotton gauze so you've got that cotton gauze but because of the embroidery, it actually gives it a little bit more structure. I mean, it's definitely gauzy, but, you know, a little bit more structure to it. This, I'm trying to think, that is just so unique and different. Obviously, a dress, um, I think this will do really well as a dress, as a, like, top, like a boxy top. Um, it's got no drape to it, so it, it can't be very flowy. But you could do, like, one of those, like, really big, dramatic, tiered skirts could be cool. And you could do some stripes this way, some the other way. You could even cut it on the bias. Yeah, it's got some good structure on the bias. And, like, mix up your stripes. I don't know. This one could be really, really fun. I also get, like, this whole, like, Aztec Midwestern. Midwestern? Southwestern? Yeah, Southwestern, <laughs> not Midwestern, um, kind of vibe to it. The colors are cool. I love the mint and the teal and the olive. Fun. This one actually comes in six other colorways as well. So, <clears throat> really, really cool. Okay, this one is all weather twill coating. Now, does that mean it's water resistant? I'm not sure. It feels like it probably is. This feels very um, smooth, very um, stiff. I mean, it's pretty much like paper, right? There's no drape to it, but it does have that diagonal twill weave. 
This one comes in six col or sorry, five colors. This is the color olive, and it's hemp blended with organic cotton. All weather twill coating. So if you're looking at making like one of those Carhartt type jackets, that's probably what this is made from. But this one feels like nylon-y. It feels like slick, which makes me think that maybe it's some kind of like coating that's on it, some kind of treatment that makes it water resistant. Do you want to do a really weird experiment? Why not? Um, let me get a little bit of water and let's see. I had this from my iron. Try not to make a mess here, Lindsay. Oh, fun. <laughs> so look at that. Wow. There's like the water is literally not seeping in at all. It's just staying in a little bubble. Well, that's fun. That's very fun. So it just, the water just beads up and then you can tell it's like not on there anymore. <laughs> okay. One, five, five, eight, three. I will say it does feel wet. Okay. Um, so not resistant, but, or rep I don't know what the terms are, but it does feel wet on the inside, but obviously it didn't like soak it up. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed that. Oh, very exciting times. All right. This is designer ponty knit, uh, heathered olive, cotton polyester and like cotton polyester and lycra. This is the only color, heathered olive ponty. Okay, so ponty is great for like like leggings, but not workout legging leggings like leggings like pants. <clears throat> so under tunics, <coughs> excuse me, and. This heathered colorway is really nice because it gives the appearance of texture even though it doesn't have any. Um, obviously, the it's printed on and has a, a decent amount of stretch for a Ponty, if I do say so myself. So you're going to be making um, somebody out there, one of the indie designers, has a Ponty knit jacket. You could do the leggings, um, probably size up if you're using like an athletic legging pattern. Um, I've even seen ponty knit dresses. So you could do like a fit and flare, a skater, you know, something like that. It doesn't have a lot of drape, so it makes for really pretty like circle skirts. I wouldn't do pleats or gathers for sure, but like a circle skirt situation or a fitted dress. Um, really, really nice in ponty knit as well. Love the colorway on that too. Like the, just the, the heathered quality of it is really, really nice. All right. This one is funky psychedelic. We've got concentric leaves. ITY knit, navy, and orchid. <clears throat> like I said, funkadelic, polyester spandex, but it is that ITY knit. And in my mind, there is nothing more classic than an ITY fitted bodice with a circle skirt and maybe some like asymmetry in the hem to kind of ramp up the psychedelic quality of it. I love a navy background. Like you could put anything. You could put the poop emoji on navy background and I probably would love that too. Um, but it also has these other fun colors. This magenta, the teal, this like mid-tone blue, cream, navy, this uh, like, I don't know, leafy green, grass green color. Lots of really fun colors in there. Super, super drapey. Your classic ITY slinky, slinky silky knit fabric. Super fun. I recently made a jumpsuit out of ITY knit. Super cute a dress. 16490 on that. Of course, it also makes really great, like, you know, shirts, blouses, things like that. Okay, next up, plush sweater knit solid in evergreen. This is the acrylic polyester. So the same as this. Um, and this one is called evergreen. <clears throat> okay. Next, I love this one, abstract, chevron, geometric, rayon, poplin, and teal. How pretty. So I love rayon poplin. Rayon poplin, to me, is better than rayon chalet. I loved rayon chalet for years and years until I discovered rayon poplin, and then that became my favorite. Um, because it's got all the beauty of a rayon, but just a little bit more structure, right? You can, you can see how this is like not totally falling in on itself. But look how pretty these colors are. Okay, so obviously you can make like Diane von Furstenberg type 
dress. Hers are mostly knits, but you could make something with a nod to like the kind of prints that she uses. Um, you can make a skirt and pair it with, you know, the yellow sweater. Um, we haven't quite gotten to the blues yet, but even this evergreen is kind of like a fun little nod to it. And this color in here is more of like a magenta pink. So something more like this wine color would be, con would be fun. So you can see how those work. This one's fun. This one's psychedelic, like this one's psychedelic, but this one's a little bit more, I don't know, mature. Whereas this feels a little bit more juvenile, I guess. I don't I hate those terms, but um, you know what I'm saying. The little chevrons. This is just so, so, so cool. And imagine it like all cut up and sewn up into, you know, different pieces. The whole like vibe of this would all kind of, I don't know. It would just be really cool. I, I need to see this sewn up into something. You know what I'm saying? So, so fun. I love this one. Um, this one comes in two colorways. So this one's the teal colorway. All right, now we've got the Mammoth Flannel Box Plaid in Evergreen, 100% cotton. This is the only color uh, way, and it has that really pretty like deep sea foam, but this orange is quite bright. Um, and then it has the mint in there as well. So I know this is kind of like two prints on one. Um, what else have we seen? There's lots of greens. What about in our orange family over here? Well, that's a little bit wild. Our suede, eh, I still like the suede with the collegiate one the best. Oh, but these like neutral tones, this is gonna be really pretty, yeah. So anything in this like um, our stretch corduroy, something like that, super pretty. This is almost an exact match for like this color in here. Super, super cute, right? So this is the mammoth flannel. 100% um, cotton, no stretch, box plaid and evergreen. And whereas it's not, it's cotton, not wool. So that's like the big difference there. Super soft hand feel, tightly woven, but not nearly as hot and warm as the wool will be. One, six, two, seven, four. And then of course we go right into the designer jersey knit um, in teal, same as this first one that we looked at. And there was some other color in there somewhere. Was it green maybe? Yeah, this green one here. Same thing, it's just the teal colorway. Tencel spandex. And remember it comes in 10 colors. We've seen three of them. So of course this looks really good together. And then we have the match to the wool gauze shirting. So we had the original one in the orangey colorway and this is the aqua sister. Wool Lurex, we talked a lot about this in the beginning. Next we have Soft Sea Wool Tweed Flannel. So let's talk about Sea Wool. And that's S-E-A, like the ocean, wool, all one word. Sea Wool is a mixture of recycled plastic bottles and oyster shells. <laughs> it is anti-static anti-odor, antibacterial, and quick dry. It is blended with the sea wool, but also polyester and rayon. And it comes in three different colorways. We also have, so this is sea wool melton, and this is sea wool tweed. So tweed is like a weave, like a tweed coat, and this is like melton, wool but with sea wool instead of regular wool so vegan i'm assuming oh no because of the oyster shells maybe not vegan i don't know exactly how that works um but each one of them comes in three colorways uh aqua and this one doesn't have a colorway but i'm assuming it's somewhere in the aqua teal family so what does sea wool feel like well it feels a lot like flannel it feels you know, it's definitely got that fuzzy texture to it. Fuzzy on the other side. It feels somewhat lightweight, but literally hardly any drape whatsoever. It feels thick, you know, substantial. So an alternative to a wool coat. I cannot speak to how warm or insulating it is, but anti-static, anti-odor, antibacterial, and quick dry. That's fun. And then the tw uh, tweed one is like this. 
So you can make a wool tweed coat or wool tweed pants. You know, you've seen that before. That's very common, except this one's made from plastic bottles and oyster shells. What a world we live in, am I right? <laughs> okay, check this one out. Botanical floral jersey knit in denim. How freaking pretty is this? With the denim background, you've got this like the oatmeal color, the light beige color, this like, uh, I don't know, light chocolate. I don't know what to call it. Um, you've got that colorway. Obviously, this is knit, jersey knit. So the cotton spandex we've been looking at, the other two um, that we've seen so far. Super, super nice. Of course, it's going to look really great with our corduroy. It's going to look really good even with our suede, even though it's different, but the same. Um, what else have we seen? That's probably it. Yeah, super, super pretty. And it's got that great um, cotton spandex that is just so, so, so classic and easy to wear and super easy to sew. We have speckled Shetland flannel in the colorway denim. Cotton polyester comes in eight colors. So this is Shetland flannel, Shetland wool flannel, I guess, but it's made from cotton and polyester, so it's not wool at all. So I'm not entirely sure what the Shetland reference is, but it's really pretty. This color, this like light blue color, I know we've seen a ton of that early on hold on let me this is whenever things get <laughs> a little bit like ah no where did I remember I said oh that really pretty like subtle blue color the thing is is that it was so subtle that now I probably won't be able to find it um it was in a floral situation it wasn't the flannel from art gallery although that is really pretty <clears throat> maybe back to our orange did the orange have? No, it didn't, but it doesn't have that color in it. But the tones of these things, like this is very warm and this is very cool. Those look really, really good together. Really good together. I guess that was it. No blue in this one, huh? No, yeah, I don't know. But it's a really pretty color. The speckles are like cream or white and black. Eight different colors. 16602 on this. No stretch no stretch, and this is the amount of drape. So not too bad. Be a really great um, wool skirt, wool jacket, but it's cotton, not wool. I don't know why I keep saying wool. Um, cotton polyester, but wants to be like wool. <laughs> okay, ginkgo leaf outline, jersey knit and navy, cotton spandex blend, same as the others we've seen. This is more of like a aqua color and the same cotton jersey. This one is mid-weight cotton jersey in ocean. So the mid-weight cotton jerseys comes in 25 different colors and she says even more colors are coming. It's a style maker staple. I have this in like a wine color and something else, I can't remember. I made something with it. What did I make? A t-shirt, a romper, I can't remember. But the mid-weight jersey is so great because it's, you know, all the best of a cotton jersey, but not as lightweight, obviously. So it's really good if you want to make like a romper or a jumpsuit or something that is going to be around parts of your body where you don't want a lot of fabric clinging to it. Um, obviously, all of these colors that they have make it you know, ideal for anybody's wardrobe. Certainly you can find a color in there that you like, but all the colors are so, so, so beautiful, very rich, um, really, really great quality uh, mid-weight cotton jersey. It is weighty though. You know, I don't want you to think you're going to get like a little t-shirt. I prefer the cotton modal blend jersey for summer t-shirts. This mid-weight is great for um, the fall and winter because it's still a t-shirt, but it's a little bit warmer. Okay. All right, here's the Brushstroke Slub Rayon Blend in blue. This is the counterpart to the very first fabric we looked at, which must be on the floor because <laughs> I've lost it. I have lost it literally and figuratively. Um, genuinely, it's gone. 
So you guys just have to use your imaginations and remember that fabric from way back before. I even put it to the side and like, was like, I'm gonna keep this close, um, but it's gone. Gone, 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 gone. One quick, one more quick look through. Either way, this is the friend, the friend to that. Y'all remember that one from the very, very beginning? This is the sister, okay? It'll come up, I'll find it again eventually hopefully before the video is over. Okay, <laughs> now we have the soft variegated sweater knit in blue. We've seen one or two other soft variegated knits. This is the blue. How pretty is that color, right? Very vibrant, very oceany, very ocean blue. Um, this one is abstract animal print jacquard shirting. So this one comes in seven colors. It's the same cotton rayon and linen blend as the others right jacquard shirting let me just make sure no the other ones were 100 percent tencel this one is cotton rayon and linen okay this one is actually my favorite of the three remember we had the diamonds and then we also had the uh leaf this one is abstract animal print but it also kind of just looks like marker streaks or something I don't know that I would look at this and definitely see animal print, but um, maybe because it's a little bit more tonal, I'm not sure. Here's the wrong side. Equally as beautiful. Um, I think it would be suitable for the same garments as I suggested for the other ones. Um, just know that it does have a little bit more structure to it because it has that cotton and linen blended in as well as the rayon. Comes in seven colors, 16029 on this. I mean, this would be so pretty in like so many applications, jackets, dresses, pants, skirts. I mean, really anything, anything that you know, going into it, you want a lot of structure. You want it to kind of fall away from the body. <clears throat> All right. This one is brushed plaid herringbone shirting in navy. It's 100% cotton. Um, it's got the herringbone, which you can see in here and brushed kind of texture to it. There's the wrong side. Really pretty, like this is almost like a purple, like a lilac. And then you've got baby blue and the navy all playing off of each other really well. I love a herringbone um, and just a shirting. So shirtings are ideal for obviously shirts, uh, shirt dresses, things of that nature. Next, we have Luxury Plush Rib Sweater Knit in Slate. This is a style maker staple. It comes in 14 colors. I used this last year to make a Nico top. <clears throat> love that top. Remember, it's like cream colored. Um, I love how wide the ribs are. Um, it's definitely luxurious. It's definitely a rib, but also a sweater knit. So if you don't like rib knits because they're too thin and too flimsy, you are gonna love a rib sweater knit. It's like the best of both worlds. Still has a ton of drape to it, but is weighty. Like you can feel it in your hands, how weighty it is. Um, poly rayon spandex, 14 colors. This one's called Slate. It's beautiful. It's like gray navy. Gray and navy had a baby. <clears throat> Next, we have brush stroke tonal floron. Floor. Hold on, I can never say these words right. Brush stroke tonal floral rayon jersey in the colorway blues. This is a rayon spandex. So we've talked a lot about cotton spandex or cotton blended in, um, and this is your true rayon jersey. This is lightweight, drapey, somewhat clingy, um, but super, super, super drapey. So much more so than just the cotton blended ones. Um, here, I have one right here. So you can see the difference in the drape of these two fabrics here, right? So super soft, feels great. Just know it's gonna be a little bit more clingy. The print on it is so pretty. Like I just love, I, I think it must be the brush strokes that I love so, so much. Um, but you've got the, you know, cream background, almost white background, black accents, navy. You've even got this baby blue, which is not quite the same as that. More of like a sky blue. I don't know. It's hard to, <laughs> to explain the different um, blues because, you know, this one's a little bit brighter than this one is. But I would call them both sky blue. You know what I'm saying? All right. So there's that. It looks really good, actually, with the herringbone. I really love those two things together a lot. Um, so if you were going to make a skirt and a t-shirt, that would be so cute together. 
or if you were going to make like um a cardigan out of this and wear it over this as a shirt dress or any kind of dress woven dress that would be really pretty too okay next we have reversible nope yep reversible wool blend double knit in navy and charcoal cotton wool and polyester blend so we talked about wool, uh, double knit before how it's like two knit fabrics that they somehow bring together so this one is navy on one side and charcoal on the other side how fun is that um, there, oh gosh, isn't there an indie pattern? You guys leave it in the comment section if you know what I'm talking about, where it's intended to be used with reversible. So imagine this, you, you've got like a jacket with a lapel, right? That does not have a facing. So when you turn that collar out, like your jacket is blue, but then your lapel is charcoal or vice versa. As for finishing, I don't think you'd have to finish these edges so long as you cut them really, really sharply. I don't think they're going to unravel because they are knits. So you could do a really cool like raw edge <clears throat> where your lapel and maybe like fold up your cuff, something like that, and have a really, really unique jacket. Um, six, 16405 on this one. There's a better look at the charcoal. Next, we've got another reversible fabric. This one is plaid, stripe, double cloth, and navy. So if double knit is two knit fabrics attached, this one is two woven fabrics attached. So we've got the plaid on one side and stripes on the other side. Okay, so for something like this, you're looking at using kind of the same concept. Let's say we use a, um, a either like a boxy jacket or even a button down shirt. You do your cuffs and collars and maybe even your bucket, uh, your uh, button placket in one of the fabrics. And then you do the other one in the reverse. And they're just intended to go together. You can roll up your sleeves and you have this popping out <clears throat> or the other way around. Super fun, super unique. Super different. This one is woven fabric though, so you would need to finish off your edges. All right, this next one is soft washed linen in navy. It is 100% linen and comes in 19 colors. It's a style maker staple. Wait, that's wrong. No, that's right. That's right, okay. Um, so yeah, just your soft washed linen. They've had this for years, I feel like. Really great linen basic staple everything in the linen is great for this is the navy color this one is called the atelier brunette sandstorm rayon in the colorway night so atelier brunette i don't know are they a quilting cotton company that are doing other prints like art gallery is or are they their own but i've ordered atelier brunette stuff before <clears throat> I love their prints. This one's no exception. The background color of this is so nice. It's like a black navy. Um, and then you have this really pretty, like, I don't know, mid-tone mid brown. And then this color in here is almost like a blushy cream. And then this one, you can barely see, this one here too, is almost like more of like a blush. Um, Eco Vero Rayon. So I'm not entirely sure what that means. I'm sure eco means something about it being, you know, good for the environment, but I don't know exactly what. Um, this is the only colorway. It is rayon. I'm imagining some kind of chalet or something. It's very lightweight, very drapey. You can see light through it. So this is like a blouse situation happening here. All right, now we have plush rib sweater knit in navy. Didn't we see the other plush sweater knit here recently? I think so. Oh, the rib knit. That was the luxury plush rib sweater knit. And this is the plush rib sweater knit in navy. So this one's acrylic and polyester, much more of like a sweatery vibe to it. Um, whereas this one is a little bit smoother. I hope y'all can tell the difference in the textures in the video. Um, darker color, more of like a sweater weave, but still has the ribs. 
you know, still stretchy. So good for sweaters, cardigans, turtlenecks, really pretty turtleneck. Um, this comes in two different colorways. All right, now we have designer plaid cotton shirting in navy, 100% cotton shirting. Again, we're getting strong collegiate vibes on this one, right? With the red and the yellow and the blue and the white. Yeah, super strong. This one's very um, clean, very, oh, I don't know. I almost want to say military-esque, but I'm getting like also preppy, like Polo Ralph Lauren and stuff like that. Um, because it is the white and the blue, I'm feeling strongly. No, actually, I like the other plaid better. But let's pull out some of these yellows. No, it's not as gold as this. It's like a yellow yellow, like a yellow. <laughs> Which I don't think we've had a lot of yellow yellow. We've had a lot of like, you know, golden colors. We haven't even had a lot of true reds. Um, which is what this is. Maybe you have some like yellows and reds in your closet left over from the summer. And this would be a good way to kind of get, make a transitional piece to get a little bit more wear out of those. But just a cotton shirting, 16426. Next, we have the Mid Whale Stretch Corduroy in Navy. This is a brand new fall staple. It comes in five colors, cotton spandex. So the first one that we looked at, which is don't tell me I lost. No, this one. This is the micro whale stretch. Okay. Can you see the difference in the whales? This one's like a sixteenth of an inch and this one's like an eighth of an inch wide. The whales are. But similar concept. It does have some stretch to it. Not a lot. I mean, not a lot at all. This one, remember, it really stretched. You can see, well, not, I say re it's relative, right? But this one has hardly any stretch, but it is there. So there is a little bit of that give, a little bit of that wearing ease, that wearing stretch. Um, navy, five colors, cotton spandex. And then we have the brushed tartan plaid shirting. So tartan plaid, classic. I, this reminds me of the holidays. I don't know why. Like I just see Christmas um, when I look at tartan plaid. But again, with the bright yellow, bright red, even the bright blue, and then your evergreen um, green color. So we haven't had a green that is quite that bright. <clears throat> you know, everything's been a little bit more on the olive side. Yeah. Nothing quite the same color as that one. No, way too blue. Anyways, tartan, classic, shirting. I mean, if you want to make a dress that you're going to wear every single year over and over and over again, you make a button front shirt dress out of a tartan plaid, you can wear it so many different places. Dress it up, dress it down. Um, classic. This one is, speaking of classic, the classic Ponty Knit in Solid Midnight. So this is a navy blue that is so dark, it genuinely looks black. Uh, rayon nylon spandex, 10 colors, uh, style maker staple, Ponty Knit, so this is the stretch on the cross grain. So again, ponty knit, great for ponty knit jackets, like jackets designed for ponty knit. Leggings, like dressy leggings, um, fit and flare dresses with circle skirts, great. So this is the midnight, comes in 10 colors. Next we have watercolor cityscape brushed sweater knit and plum. How pretty. How pretty. I love purples and grays together. I mean, one of my favorite color combinations for sure. Um, and this one has a lot of different shades of purple, even a lot of shades of blue. There's even some like browns and almost like deeper reds in here. But it is a sweater knit, brush sweater knit, polyester spandex. So it's got a little bit of a looser weave, but some really great stretch. Um... You know, obviously makes a great sweater, sweater dress, but it's thin, thin and lightweight and pretty drapey. So keep that in mind. It might even be like better suited for like a cardigan type of thing, you know, than a standalone garment. But obviously you can wear it as a cardigan over this. And then you can put it with something like, well, that's kind of a lot. Okay, so let's just stick with this. <laughs> so the sweater knit is 16641. And then this is the designer Tencel jersey knit in Orchid. Okay, we've seen some of those jerseys already, some of the other colors. Um, and this is just like 
you know, really pretty together. T-shirt, t-shirt dress, something like that. And this is a cardigan is really nice. Really nice. So the orchid is 16181. And then I teased you with the layered fall leaves, jersey knit and plum, cotton spandex. So again, all of these like tone on tone, but then you also have this like magenta coming in here with this outlined leaf. I love purple. I, I th is purple my favorite color? It might be. Um, it's a little bit more pink than that wine color. Um, but cotton, jersey, right? We've seen a few of these already. 16572. And there's your drape on that. Look at this. Organic mammoth flannel tonal plaid in plum. We saw the other mammoth flannel, which was the squares. Remember the even squares? Oh, shoot. I, where are these going? I feel like wherever my socks go in the dryer is also taking up my swatches at this point. Yeah, it's gone too. But you know what I'm talking about, right? Do you remember? I'm feeling it. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. This is the other mammoth flannel that we saw, the organic one. And 100% cotton. Um, but this tonal plaid in these plum colors is so fun. Do I need a purple plaid flannel jacket? I do, don't I? I think I do. I think I do. Obviously the t-shirt matches, but you also have this really cool blue color running through here. Um, like something like that is pretty striking as well. Then there's black. I don't know. And of course you can wear it with denim. Like where's a denim -y color? Well, navy. Do you know what I mean? Like purple and navy look great together. How are purple and this? That's not terrible. Hmm, maybe I need a purple jacket. <laughs> so this one is 16606. Not sure I love those numbers, but um, yeah, really soft cotton flannel instead of like wool. All right, here is the friend to this. This is the uh, same flannel in plum, but the speckles are like green and hot pink and white. So a lot more variety in this one. This is a cotton polyester flannel. I really like this one a lot better, like a lot better. This is pretty, but I like this one. <clears throat> Next, we have layered sketch dot rayon in latte and black. So this is that same Eco Vero rayon from Atelier Burnett. So I'm assuming this is the, that company as well. Um, I actually really adore the print. I love how kind of simple it is, you know, not a lot of colors. Um, so for that reason, you can really like ramp up the design elements, put a lot of ruffles, a lot of layers, a lot of flounces, you know, you name it, just keep adding it on. <laughs> you could do a lot, a lot with something like this, a print that's kind of small, um, just two colors, you know, you could do something really nice. Lightweight, drapey. 16586 on that. Now we have herringbone plaid wool flannel in espresso and royal, meaning like royal blue. 100% wool, comes in two colors, classic herringbone. Herringbone is so nice. I mean, yeah, there are some grandpa vibes. Sure, I'll give you that. But, like, in the best way. <laughs> um, cute little cropped wool jacket, a wool dress. I mean, you could really run with this one. The colorway is so classic, too, with the cream and the chocolate brown, but with that blue mixed in, love it. 16507 on that. This one is abstract splatter jersey French terry in espresso. Again, I'm trying to take all that in. Okay, abstract splatter. I totally get that. Abstract splatter is the print. Jersey French terry. So that makes it cotton and spandex. And this is the espresso colorway. <clears throat> you can see the wrong side has pretty small um, little loops. So it's not as lofty, not as 
thick and full as some French cherries can be, kind of a lighter weight French cherry. Um, and it does, this side feels, it definitely has a texture to it. It has a feel to it. It doesn't feel, <laughs> it doesn't feel super soft, but it doesn't feel bad. Does that make sense? So I guess you have to pay attention to the way you cut it, almost like velvet, you know? But the abstract, like print on the outside is actually really cool. So I, you know, some French terries you can venture off into like, you know, luxury leisure wear. This one I feel like is more like clothes that you wear outside. But the colors are really pretty. All right, this is the plush cotton ribnet in espresso, cotton spandex. So now we have three ribnets and I'm not gonna be able to find them all, but this is the plushest, sweateriest <laughs> of the two that we have seen so far. Um, here is the navy one. And then the other one that was the middle of the road. Hoping I can get my eyes on it really quickly, but I don't see it. You guys know what I mean, right? You remember that second one where it was like almost like a sweater knit like this, but it had those ribs. Is this it? Nope. That's corduroy. Um, anyways, this is, we're progressing up. So we started with this, then we had the mid range one. And now we've got like a real sweater knit with the ribs. So again, this would be great, like turtleneck, um, real great, like oversized comfy like grandpa sweater cardigan as well um, I think this is the only color it comes in 15804 nope that's not what that says 16494 that's correct 15804 was the abstract splatter jersey okay this one 16620 how pretty is that abstract animal striped sweater knit and mocha and black would you not see this in white house black market right would you not see this in some of those like luxury type of stores. Um, polyester spandex sweater knit. I see this in a dress, like a fitted sweater knit dress, belted. I see it always as a sweater too, oversized or otherwise. Um, really nice, 16620. Then we have abstract animal spot rayon jersey in latte and black. So our second rayon jersey, super lightweight, super drapey. I say clingy, not in a bad way. It just, you know, kind of comes to, into your body a little bit, as you can tell. And this is the abstract animal spot latte and black. All right, now we have something called Forest Friends Jersey Knit in Chocolate. How sweet. How cute would this be as pajamas? I know you were writing that off at first. I'm going, I'm not wearing a raccoon. I'm not wearing a bunny, but you will to bed. I know you will to bed. This one is cotton and spandex. Um, forest friends. Yeah, we have the deer. I'm not going to be able to call these animals out right. We have the deer, the chipmunk, the duck, a raccoon, a bunny, some flowers, and some trees. So adorable. Cotton spandex, chocolate background. I mean, let's all make matching pajamas. Am I right? 15806 on this. So cute. So sweet. Love it. Wide rib sweater knit in heather gray. So another sweater knit, another rib. This one, the ribs are the widest that we've seen so far. Really nice. It does have um, rayon poly and spandex in it. So it has almost like a sheen, like it almost looks metallic. Um, really drapey, but really, really soft. So it's gonna be your like turtlenecks, um, your like fitted sweaters. 16100 zero, zero on that. And like I said, the most compelling thing about this is just how it looks like it's shining, even though there's not a single metallic thread in it. <clears throat> this one comes in two colors. All right, we have grid plaid stretch suiting in blue and gray. So stretch suiting, you would use this to make suiting. So that would be like dress pants, trousers, also blazers but also like really cute dresses, pencil skirts, things like that. This one has a little bit of stretch in it. You can see that here. None on the straight grain, but a little bit on the cross grain. 
and it has a really pretty colors, right? Very subtle and kind of, if you look at it a little bit too long, it's going like kind of crazy with my eyes, <laughs> but um, blue and gray. And then I see some maroon in there. I see some gold. Um, so we've got that going. Stretch suiting, 14993. All right, this one is a brushed tonal plaid herringbone shirting in gray. Okay, so we've got the herringbone again. You can see that in there. We've got the gray plaid. So we've got charcoal and light gray and a mid-tone gray. Um, brushed kind of texture, 100% cotton shirting. All right, so this is just like, if you love gingham, like I, you've got to love this. I love gingham and I love this. Um, it is gray and white and that can be a little bit boring, but you can also do so much with like, different pleats or gathers or something, um, even shirring to make this kind of come to life a little bit. <clears throat> 16630. This is designer variegated sweater knit in gray. It's 100% cotton. 14203. It actually has a really interesting like bumpy texture on the wrong side, which I kind of love as the right side. This is a much smoother, a little bit of texture from the other side is coming through, but stretch wise, not a ton, not a ton. So just make sure you have like, you know, a good wide opening to get your head through um, or, you know, a cardigan, some kind of over layer like that. It is really pretty though. All of the, you know, gray gets such a bad rap, but you pair this with the right thing and it can really make a really beautiful statement. This one is, brushed herringbone plaid wool flannel in charcoal but it gives me like 80s vibes right because it's charcoal but also like neon pink and neon blue um which is really fun and different right doesn't it look like something that um miami vice would wear like if miami vice went to alaska or something i don't know um but yeah oversized coat that new one that um Palmer Plush just put out, that would be a great option. Fun, youthful, but still wool flannel. 100% wool. Really soft for wool, relatively speaking. Um, and the wrong side, the non-brush side, makes those colors stand out even more if you're into that. But 16508. Here is Speckle Shetland in charcoal. So here's our three colors. Um, there are eight, so here's three of the eight. The charcoal again has those neons, the pinks, the greens, the blues. All right, we have brush stroke floral rayon in black and rust. Black background, which I used to love black backgrounds. Black backgrounds definitely had their moment. I'm not so sure I'm into black backgrounds anymore, but this, these colors in here, it almost looks like they're on fire, right? Like this yellows and orange, the colors are very, very vibrant. Um, and then you come in here and this one feels almost like, you know, the fire's burned out a little bit and it's kind of a little bit ashy brown. So really, really interesting. But you know, you can never have too many, like in my opinion, long sleeve, elastic waist, floaty, lightweight ruffle dresses. And this would be, you know, a great, a great version of that. Looking to see if there was any solids to, I mean, there's so many solids. Like if you wanted to do a skirt out of this and then, you know, put your jacket on, you can put your t-shirt on, right? You know, you've got all those like caramelly ones, but also I wanted to call out the blush from the very beginning, right? That really like comes to life up in here and here as well. And then if you wanted to pair it with your like really pretty sweatshirting, you know, you could do these yellow, call out the yellow colors some. I was hoping there was gonna be kind of like a taupey one, but I don't think we have many, many taupey solids as a sample. Maybe some of these that have like, you know, 25 different colors have something like that. And um, StyleMaker would certainly be able to help you find one that matches. Um, but even if you put like black background, but a chocolate brown with it, that's kind of cool. So you can take something a little bit, mm, I don't know what the word is. That's not definitely not boring. Uh, definitely not plain, but maybe something you've seen before and you can jazz it up with some of these other fabrics for sure. Uh, 16588 
lightweight drapey 100% rayon it comes in two colors this one is black rust all right this is an arietta ponte de roma in black so there is a difference the arietta oh this is really testing my fabric knowledge i want to say it can only be called that if it's from italy but i could be totally wrong the main thing you need to know about it is that it is thicker more like scuba um but also like softer i don't know it just like the other ponties feel like nylon-y this one feels not slick but smooth does that make sense it's also got a little more drape to it but it's thicker you know um so this is in black rayon nylon and spandex 12 colors a style maker staple so same applications as the other ponties with the jacket and the leggings and the dress um just a little bit thicker okay now we have oh i love this one graphic marble print rayon in white and black it's 100 percent rayon this the whole like idea of um stone as a print on fabrics has been around for gosh maybe three years or so ago i remember um there being like certain stone fabrics i think that's kind of where tie-dye kind of took off because can't you see how this would sort of be tie-dye ish but this marble print is really nice 100 percent rayon but it must be like a poplin or something because it's not super super drapey like a chalet would be really nice i love that 16617 17 is my lucky number um again it's just black and white with a little bit of like browns and stuff in here but you could make this pop off with like the right uh top or um layering piece to go over it uh, however you were gonna style this look how cute this one is animal print polka dot sweater knit in black and gray it's polyester and spandex blended, right? Again, just black and gray, very simple, but in this cute little animal print. So if you're not normally an animal print person with like the, you know, typical animal print colors, this could be a great way for you to incorporate it into your wardrobe because you've got these very, very safe colors. Um, black and gray, it's got a little bit of stretch to it, mostly due to the weave, uh, polyester spandex. Drape wise, it's actually really nice. So that would be good if you wanted to do like a cowl neck or something like that. It would lay nicely and not be too stuffy around your neck. So one, six, six, one, nine. And then we've got ultra plush stripe texture sweater knit in black. This one is rayon, nylon, polyester, and spandex and comes in seven colors. So of the like rib textured stuff we've seen uh this one has the least amount of stretch it has actually more stretch going the other way than it does with the ribs which is maybe why it's not technically called a rib knit this is more of just like a sewn in texture is, am i am i explaining that correctly i think um but it is ultra plush it does have a decent amount of weight to it um not too bad on the drape scale either so again i'm picturing duster cardigan something really long it would hang really beautifully from the shoulders with all that weight one three nine seven six and seven colors this one comes in next we have reversible dot stripe double knit in black and white so at this point you know what to expect right boom and it's a double knit so it's got some stretch to it actually quite a bit of stretch to it and you could make something really pretty with the sleeves folded up the cuffs folded up or use one side for the neck band and the other side for the rest of the body you know whatever you wanted to do cute right i like the little dots one six six four four on this one now we have botanical floral print stretch denim in black and gray so this is denim this is like jeans or a jean jacket or denim dress or skirt cotton spandex so it's got some stretch to it not a lot and i'm like really tugging on it too <laughs> um so not a ton of stretch but it is there there's the other side so this looks like blue jeans 
And this looks like gray with this botanical print printed on. So you could definitely, I don't know, figure out a way to incorporate these two together somehow. I'm not entirely sure how, but yeah, different, right? Maybe make a reversible jacket. Could you even do that? Collarless maybe? I don't know. You'd have to use your noggin, but you could figure something out. That could be cool. 16021 on that. We have a classic gingham shirting, 100% cotton, gingham shirting, okay, 16469. This is a one inch gingham, probably my favorite of all the ginghams, the sizes. I love a one inch gingham. Again, if you're into the shirring trend, this would be really pretty. Uh, this is tonal animal print rayon twill shirting in gray and black. So it's animal print. I don't know. Do y'all see faces? Maybe it's too close to Halloween, but like I'm seeing a woman's face in here and like a little child's face. So that's a little creepy. <laughs> but once you get it all cut up, maybe all those faces go away. I don't know. Um, this does come in two colorways and it's rayon twill. So we talked about rayon twill before, right? It's like the beefiest of the rayons. You have rayon chalet, you have rayon poplin, and then rayon twill is like the beefiest. <clears throat> it would make a really beautiful skirt, beautiful drape, um, but also, you know, really nice blouse with a structured sleeve or something. Not structured, but relatively structured sleeve. You know, if you wanted to do something blousey, this would hold the blouse effect. Okay, I got to put those ghost faces away. Um, this is called Slub Texture Linen Blend in Solid Coal. I don't think we've ever had so many grays and blacks um, in one swatch video before really leaning into these colorways which is fun tonal animal print rayon twill and shirting and black is that where we are no that was what we just saw what number are we on i get carried away one two here we go nine eight zero is slub texture linen blend in solid coal i already said that i know i did um rayon linen this comes in 24 colors and is a style maker staple so I know we're in the, you know, gray section, black section, but it comes in 24 colors, which I imagine match a whole bunch of other things that we've got here today. Um, slub texture, which it definitely has. And then the linen blend. I feel like we looked at one of these earlier, right? Uh, with rayon and linen blended together, which makes super, super, super nice. Drape, super nice. Weight, I mean, this is just really, really great. Um, and then Distressed Polka Dot Rayon Voile in black and white. So 100% rayon. I would probably put voile somewhere near poplin, maybe a little bit lighter than poplin, but more than chalet. Uh, distressed Polka Dot Rayon, two colors, very soft, very like nice little pretty drape to it, very kind of lightweight. It's lightweight, but it definitely has some teeth to it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's lightweight, but maybe a little bit tighter woven. So it feels more substantial. Um, you can barely see the light through it. And I have like a big light on right now. So that's good. 16689. And I kind of love how these remind me of like phases of the moon, kind of, I don't know, like, you know, crescent moon, full moon, maybe not some of these look like skulls, but uh, <laughs> other than that, it's a fun little um, print for sure. All right, and we are at our last fabric. Are you guys ready? One, two, three, seven, zero. Cozy Eco Sweatshirt Fleece in black. It's hemp, organic cotton, and bamboo. Comes in 12 colors and is a style maker staple. So I think we went over this already with this one, maybe. I can't remember. They kind of feel the same. Um, but it is your eco-friendly sweatshirt fleece in black. No stretch, not a lot of drape. It's a sweatshirt fleece, you know? Okay, but that is it. That is Style Maker Fall Winter 2021. I always like to kind of throw these back up here and remind you um, of what we've got. Like I said before, if I forgot to call any numbers, which I know I did, probably I got 50% of them done, um, and you need to know an item number check the description box for a link to the um 
to the spreadsheet that I was referring to throughout this video, and you'll be able to find it by the name that I used. Um, you could also go back in the video, and if I flipped the fabric over, then, um, you know, you could have taken down the number, even though I didn't auto audibly say it. But this is what we've got, a fun display of colors. Am I right? So many great, great, great fabrics. I'm gonna put this one right on top, one of my faves. Um, yeah, some good stuff. All right, there's some really good stuff in there. Am I right? I feel like Stylemaker Fabrics is just exceptional at picking out good quality fabrics that are gonna make beautiful garments that we are all going to love sewing with. All of these fabrics are available now on their website. So you can take your list and head over there and get shopping. And just for fun, I have linked to this past spring's swatch video. Not all of these fabrics are available still, but if you enjoyed this, then you might as well enjoy looking at what was available in the spring as well. So I have linked that here in the end slate as well as in the description box. So if you just want more of the same and to look at even more fabric, go ahead and click that. But that is going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.